So we will continue with the design of circular bunker. So in the earlier lecture, uh, we have seen how to get the dimensions and how to design the walls of the bunker. Now here, in the second part, uh, we will design the hopper button and also the reinforcement detailing we will discuss. Now in the case of hopper bottom, so you can see here, this is the hopper bottom portion. So wherein uh, you have the thickness of the hopper bottom, you can observe the same as the wall thickness that is 140 mm. And uh, it is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees theta that you can assume. So an opening is provided there of diameter 0.5 meter. So diameter at the top of the hopper bottom is uh, 3.5 meter. Now here, the total uh, weight of the core that has that is retained in the entire bunker is we have calculated uh, 302.4 kN. So now what we have to do is we have to calculate uh, the mean diameter of the sloping bottom. So this is the sloping bottom. So we have to calculate the mean diameter. Mean diameter means uh, that is from the center of this uh, upper bottom wall uh, to the center of the, this side. That means this this value. So this uh, distance we need, so that is calculated uh, using uh, this average value. So average of 3.5 and 0.5. So plus whatever thickness is there, that wall thickness uh, 0.14 meter or 140 mm, multiplied by divided by sin 45 we are going to get. That is divided by 1 by root 2, which comes to the numerator as uh, root 2. So now this is the total. Uh, that means the mean diameter from the center of this wall to the center of this uh, wall of the uh, slab of the upper bottom. So that I am calling it as dm. So the dm value you got 2.2 uh, uh, meter. And the uh, weight of the upper bottom is calculated uh, <coughs> by taking uh, this formula pi into d dm into thickness. So diameter into thickness uh, uh, into pi. So into 1.5 is this uh, height uh, divided by cos 45 into 25. 25 is the value of uh, density of concrete which is uh, in kilometer per meter cube. So this is the formula to calculate the weight. So this is volume. When volume is multiplied by the density, we are going to get the weight. We are going to get 51.3 kilometer. So therefore the total vertical load now becomes the so weight of uh, Core is uh, 302.4 and uh, weight of upper bottom is uh, 51.3. So now here, that I can take it as WS. So now the total vertical load acting on the upper bottom is the sum of those two, which comes out to be 353.7 kN. Now we will calculate the tension, tension due to this weight. So the tension due to that weight is given by the formula. So this total uh, W, whatever W is there, divided by pi into dm, pi into dm into sin 45. This is a standard formula. So we can uh, get it. So W is acting like this. W is acting like this. T is acting like this. So using the, uh, and this angle is 45 degree. Using the equilibrium equation, I have explained this in the earlier lecture also we get uh, the value of uh, T. So you are going to get 72.37 kN per meter and factor, factor tension or the design tension will be 1.5 times of that, that is Tu, which is 108.57. So 1.5 into 72.37, 108.57. Now what is the A is required for that uh, tension? Uh, is Tu divided by 0 0.87 FY standard formula. So if you substitute the kN, we have to substitute in newtons. So into 10 power 3 we have to take divided by 0.87 into 4 or 5 rate of speed. So you are getting 300 millimeter square. So 300 millimeter square actually the minimum speed is 0.12% of the cross, uh, cross section of the uh, upper bottom which comes out to be uh, I think uh, uh, 168 millimeter square which we have calculated uh, in the previous uh, lecture. So here uh, assuming 8 mm diameter bar spacing we will get 167.5 which can be reduced to 160. So in the sloping direction of slab. So in the sloping direction of slab, we are getting the uh, spacing as 160 millimeter center to center. Now 
Here reinforcement for the hoop tension we have to calculate now. So this reinforcement is provided along the sloping direction of the slab. Now in the other direction we have to provide the reinforcement for the hoop tension. So for that we have to calculate the average depth of sloping bottom. So it is calculated like this. Average depth. So H capital H. It is from the center of the upper bottom to the top. Top here. So this is your capital H. Which consists of three parts. This plus this plus this. So how to calculate that? 3.1 is this value. Height of the center cylindrical portion. Plus 3.5 by 2 tan 25 degree is this height. Plus 1.5 by 2 is this height. So if you add those three, you are going to get the average depth of one. Sloping bottom, capital H, it comes out to be 4.66 meter. Now we have to calculate the normal pressure acting on this uh, upper uh, bottom, which acts like this. Normal pressure means it will be like this, Pn. So Pn, we have to calculate now. So that is given by the standard formula, which you have used earlier also. So gamma capital H cos square theta plus gamma capital H cos square phi sin square theta. Here please note that phi is the angle of structure, 25 degree. Uh, theta is 45 degree inclination of the upper bottom of the horizontal. Gamma is uh, density of that uh, core, uh, which is 8 kilometers per meter cube given. So H is uh, 4.66 meters. If you substitute all those values there and simplify, you are getting the normal pressure PN as 23.95 kN per meter square. Now, due to self weight also, we have to calculate the normal pressure, which is given by the component of WS, that is WS cos theta. Uh, here it comes out to be 51.3 the value of uh, uh, weight of upper part of the self weight multiplied by cos 45 you are getting 36.27 now per unit length you have to calculate normal pressure per unit length because it's a slab uh, reinforcement is calculated per unit length that is per 1 meter width of the slab so that's why we need to calculate normal pressure per unit length which is nothing but this 33.95 plus whatever uh, 36.27 you have got divided by pi into dm so that is the circumference circumference of that uh, uh, central portion of the upper bottom so that is the formula so if you substitute and simplify it 39.2 kN per meter so per meter run uh, the hoop tension so this is the pressure so pressure is converted to uh, from the pressure you can capture the hoop tension force by the formula 0.5 into Pn into D, which I have given in earlier. So 0.5 into 39.2 into D means then D for Dm. So it is 2.2. So if you simplify 43.12 kN, that is the hoop tension T uh, that you are going to get. Uh, that should be multiplied by once again 1.5 to get the design tension. So Tu is the design tension force or the factor tension force. So which you are going to get 64.68. For that, the reinforcement required is Pu divided by 0.87 Fy. So, which is which, is, which comes out to be here, you have to convert this kilometer into Newton. 64.68 into 10,000 Newton divided by 0.87 into Fy is 415 Newton per annum square. You are getting 179 millimeter square. But we have, we have seen that the minimum reinforcement to be provided is 0.12% of the grass uh, section area of the uh, upper bottom it comes out to be 168 millimeter square but this is more than the minimum therefore you have to provide 179 millimeter square assuming area of diameter box spacing is calculated as area of one bar divided by reinforcement required into 1000 that is the, for one meter length so you are giving 280.8 say 280 mm center to center this reinforcement is provided so along the uh, parallel direction so along the sloping direction uh, we are providing the 8 mm bars at 160 mm center to center. So this, this is how uh, we can draw the drawing. So this is the sloping uh, direction. In the sloping direction, this one the reinforcement is uh, draw 8 at uh, 160 mm center to center. And uh, perpendicular to that, in the other direction, orthogonal direction, it is uh, draw 8 at uh, 280 center to center. I am coming to the reinforcement of the wall, which I have designed earlier. In both the directions, you have got a tar 8 at 280 mm center to center. And in addition to that, we have to provide here edge beams. These edge beams are provided of size. Normal edge beams are provided 300 mm by 300 mm. 
with uh, nominal reinforcement of four numbers of tower uh, one uh, uh, that is solar and was provided. This is the uh, sketch of the reinforcement uh, detail. So that means in the case of a circular uh, bunker, so instead of uh, length and breadth, uh, we have to assume the diameter and then we have to find the height uh, and the hook tension uh, due to both the uh, horizontal uh, uh, pressure and normal, and, uh, normal pressure we have to calculate. When you are calculating the hook tension due to normal pressure, you have to consider the self weight of the uh, hook bottom, uh, that uh, upper bottom also and uh, the dimensions are taken at the center of the, uh, cent the, cent the diameter at the center of the upper bottom and reinforcements are calculated for both uh, uh, hook tensions. One uh, reinforcement is provided uh, Allow the sloping direction and another is called along the uh, perpendicular direction. So, this is how we can design either a rectangular bunker or a circular bunker of a given capacity.